Black Widow, as we know usually comes out like this. And this time making a delivery for her boyfriend she was taken captive by the mob and fear forced her to keep begging for mercy. She trembled and opened the box. After the gangster confirmed that the drugs were safe, she was knocked out with a punch. When she opened her eyes again a huge pain came from her abdomen and found out that she was stabbed. Before she could react the mob reappeared. It turned out that the gang intended to make her human drug transport. And she was joined by three other men. Each of whom received a ticket and was taken away separately with a hood. Lucy was put into a refrigerated room. The man in charge of the guards wanted to have sex with her. He was refused and punched her to the ground. And also just stitched up the wound and kicked. Causing the drug package to break. A large amount of blue drugs into the body. Something magical happened. A mysterious power spread rapidly. Lucy's eyes turned blue at once. The invisible power made her keep twitching. Her body was changing. Her brain was developed to 20%. When she woke up again, blue streams of light flashed. Her whole body had long been transformed. Just then another man wanted to do something wrong. All the action was clean. Lucy came out of the freezer with a gun and shot all the bad guys five times. Then started to eat non-stop because at this moment her brain was being developed rapidly and needed to consume huge amounts of energy. She can pick out the bullets with her bare hands without feeling any pain. After eating and drinking she took away all the equipment she could use and held a cab ready to go to the hospital to take out the medicine. At this point something magical happened again. All the sounds around the dozens of meters she can hear clearly. When she arrived at the hospital, her brain would automatically translate Chinese characters characters into English. She walked into an operating room, took a look at the patient's brain CT and killed the patient being operated on. Then calmly told the doctor that the patient's tumor had penetrated deep into the cerebral cortex and you couldn't save him. Then she used a gun to force the doctor to help her take out the attached medicine, which scared the nurse unconscious on the spot. After taking out the remaining drugs, she learned from the doctor that it was a miracle she was alive. But she knew in her heart that although her brain was developed, her lifespan was coming to an end. And if she wanted to prolong her life she would have to keep replenishing the blue medicine. So she went back to the hotel where the gangsters were, and kept shooting through the walls towards the room through her brain perception. All the bad guys were instantly destroyed. At this time, the gangster was still immersed in the music unaware of the impending danger. Even though he is very painful, at this moment is also no way. Lucy pressed his forehead with her thumb, and by reading the memory of the day, she soon found out the destinations of the other three, which were Berlin, Rome and Paris. But how do you catch them when you are in Taiwan province of China? This woman can control every cell at will. A short blonde hair instantly turned into long black hair, because just yesterday a blue mysterious drug allowed her brain to be developed at an extreme speed. Just a simple touch of her roommate gave her quick insight into her physical condition. She used the computer to look up information quickly, found a professor who studied brain development, and immediately called. After learning about Lucy's experience, the professor did not believe it at first, but when Lucy appeared in the screen, the computer phone radio around her was also controlled one after another. The professor had to accept the reality. Lucy told her that her brain has been developed to 28%, with all the knowledge rushing to the brain. Her humanity is gradually disappearing, and has not been able to find the meaning of life. After some contemplation, the professor said, the ultimate meaning of life is to pass on. Lucy was so enlightened that she went to the airport, made a phone call to the Paris police station and gave his name. She told him to pick up the red notebook on his left hand and write down every word she said. The man looked down and saw that there was indeed a red pen in his left hand. He was shocked and hurriedly wrote down the information about the Indian men. Soon three Indian men were caught by the police of various countries. Lucy was not idle on the plane. The two computers were running at speed, and the bald man next to her was staring at them in disbelief. It took her only two hours to learn all the human knowledge, and her brain development rate reached 40%. However, the lack of energy, her teeth began to fall out. The skin is gradually decomposing. The whole body tissue is about to fall apart. She stumbled into the toilet and managed to insert the door. When her face also began to disintegrate, she had no choice but to take out the remaining half of the packet of crystals and began to take a big bite. However this accelerated the decomposition of the cells and she was ashes to ashes in a matter of moments. When she woke up again, the body has recovered. The brain development reached 50%. As long as the slightest wave of a large number of police officers instantly fell to the ground, a look will be able to back off all the bullets in the gun. Lucy convinced the sheriff to retrieve the remaining drugs with her. At this time she can already control the entire electromagnetic wave. With a few simple toggles to find out the gangster and his men's calls, and played out on the car radio. From the conversation, 
We know that the gang has found the whereabouts of the transporters and they must be stopped as soon as possible. The sheriff was instantly pushed to the passenger side, and an extreme car race was about to begin. In order to stop the gang in time, Lucy drove the police car through the streets of Paris against traffic. The sheriff on the side of the stunned. Always drive like that? I've never driven before. Great. The police cars behind them are too late to dodge. One after another scrapped. They killed the police officers on duty and began removing drugs from the Indians' bodies. Just as the gang is about to leave, Lucy and the sheriff finally arrive at the hospital. The gang leader told his men to kill Lucy, and he turned to leave. But an invisible wall blocked the way. It turns out that when the brain is developed to 60% can not only control all objects, can also easily control the actions of people. All the gang members in front of her become too weak. The man watched the box was taken away from the body but cannot move at all. Lucy took out the last packet of drugs, and the sheriff came to the professor's laboratory, began to explain all the new knowledge in the brain. Meanwhile the mob boss called all his men to prepare to fight. Lucy sensed the gang's action and in order to delay time to promote the development of the brain to 100%, she asked the sheriff to guard the door with his men. The professors asked curiously how you get information from the outside world. She explained, cells can communicate with each other through electromagnetic pulses that can exchange 1000 bits of information per second. The cells come together to form a powerful communication network. They can not only decompose and deform but also reassemble into new matter. Lucy continued, 1 plus 1 does not equal 2. Numbers are just concepts created by humans to explain human existence. The world is not a mathematical principle can be controlled. The only thing that can measure the world everything is only time. Suppose a car on the road. When the speed tends to infinity fast vehicle will gradually disappear. Only time can prove that it once existed. Just then the gangster with his men into the building and the police had a fierce firefight. Lucy realized that time was running out. She intended to absorb all the remaining potions to force the brain to develop to 100%. When she absorbed the potion a moment of tremendous energy spilled out of her body. Her arms extended black tentacles and began to search around for matter and energy. The scientist shocked. At this point in the brain development to 88%, everyone enters a whole new space. Another generation of supercomputers slowly rises. When the brain development to 90%, she can travel around the world at will. The streets of Paris, the vast seashore and New York Times Square. With a slide of both hands, time pauses. A slide forward time begins to fast forward, and a slide backward time appears to flow backwards. She felt the wonders of time. Following the backward flow of time witnessed the industrial age, came to the primitive society, saw the dinosaur era, until she met up with the ancestors of humans. Two fingers touched each other. Time immediately accelerated backwards. She saw the waves of the universe when it was formed. The brain developed to 99%. The gangster finally walked in. Lucy was still immersed in the boundless universe, tracing the origin of time, not even aware of the enemy behind her. Just as the gangster fired, the two cells merged into one and Lucy instantly disappeared into thin air. The gangster was surprised and threatened the professor to hand over Lucy. In the nick of time, the sheriff arrived in time to kill the gangster, successfully resolved the crisis. At the same time, the supercomputer highlights a black USB drive, which is the endless knowledge of human beings are eager to get. The sheriff asked curiously where she had gone. At this time his phone rang. The screen shows I am everywhere. It turns out that when the brain is fully developed, the physical body Body will disappear into a material energy, which means that each of our individual lives, and even the entire universe is the result of different combinations of energy. How do you understand the ending of this movie? Don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this on Recap Next.